what's up guys, Kevin here. In this beginner snowboard video, I wanna take you through the 10 beginner steps and show you how to go from putting your snowboard on all the way through to linking your turns. I think this video will really help new snowboarders, but if you're looking to teach any of your friends or family how to snowboard, I think this will really help as well. So let's just jump right into it. The first thing you wanna learn is how to walk around and skate with your snowboard on. So start by putting your snowboard on the ground someplace flat, strap in your front foot, and walk with your free foot behind your snowboard. I find the easiest thing is that as you walk, keep most of your weight on your free foot. This will help you to avoid having your snowboard slide away from you. As you're walking, if you do feel like your snowboard's sliding at all, just put it onto a bit of an edge, and this will help to keep it in control. The goal with skating is that this will help you get to and from the chairlift and anywhere else you need to get on the mountain. The next step is to learn how to slide down the hill with one foot. So this is a really important skill to learn because when you go to get off a chairlift, you gotta do it with one foot as well. So practicing ahead of time will help you avoid falling. The best place to practice this is on a very mellow slope where it flattens out and comes to a natural stop. To walk up the hill, turn your board completely sideways, and then with each step, dig your toe edge into the snow to keep your board in place. Once you've found a good spot, just a few feet up that slope, you can turn your board so that it's facing straight down the hill, and then step your free foot onto your board in the center, pushing your foot against your back binding. As you slide down the slope, make sure your knees are bent and your hands are over top of the nose and tail of your board. And then to come to a stop, you can actually drag the toe of your boot in the snow. And by dragging your toe, it'll just help you to slow down and come to a complete stop. I think one of the biggest mistakes someone can make is just trying to progress too quick. This may take a bit of time to get used to, but practice this a few times until you're comfortable sliding with one foot and coming to a complete stop. The next skill you wanna learn is how to slide on your heel edge. Sliding on your heels is gonna teach you how to stop on your snowboard, so this is a really important one. To start, strap in both feet to your snowboard, and a trick to stand up is to actually grab the toe edge of your board with your front hand as you push yourself up with your back hand. Once you're up, you can start to slide your board forward, and you'll notice that the more you lift your toes, the slower you'll go, and the closer you let your toes get to the snow, the faster. As you're sliding, you also want to make sure your knees and hips are bent, almost like you're sitting in a chair with your hands over top of the nose and tail of your board and your head is looking in the direction you're going. Once you're comfortable on your heels, you can sit down and then roll over onto your toes. A quick trick to roll over is to actually grab the back of your knee with your hands and then pull yourself over and flatten yourself out a bit on the snow and that'll help you to get around to your toes. Sliding on your toes is very similar to sliding on your heels, but this time you're bending your knees towards the snow to lift up your heel edge. The more you lift up your heels, the slower you'll go, and the more you let them get close to the snow, the faster. The most intimidating thing about the toe slide is going backwards and not being able to see what's behind you. So what you can do is just look over your shoulder, and by looking over your shoulder, you're gonna be able to see any obstacles that may be in the way. If you're feeling uncomfortable on your toes, don't be afraid to ask a friend or someone just to hold your hand until you get used to the balance and until you're feeling comfortable. The next step, and this is getting very close to turning, is learning how to slide back and forth across the run. So start by sliding on your heels, and if you wanna to slide to the left, the easiest way to do that is to lean and also point to the left. As you start to slide, if you wanna change directions, start to level out your weight and face the bottom. And then to go to the right, start to lean to the right and also point down and to the right. By leaning and pointing, it's gonna allow you to go back and forth across the run. For the toe slide, I actually find it a little bit easier because as you're sliding, the best way to go in one direction is to just really look in that direction. So to go to the right, just really look to the right where you wanna go. Then when you wanna to come to a stop, look to the top of the slope. And if you wanna to go to the left, start to look down and to the left. By sliding back and forth like this, it's gonna give you more control and it's also gonna help lead you into doing your first turns. 
Next, you're ready to do your first turn. And I find that the easiest turn to do is the heel turn. So for the heel turn, start by sliding on your toes. And next, you wanna get your board running straight and flat down the hill for one second. So to do this, start to lean more onto your front foot and also pointing your front hand down the slope. This will help you to get your board running straight and flat. Then once your board is flat, start to lean onto your new heel edge. And then once you're onto that new edge, you can face your chest down to the bottom of the slope, bring your board around sideways and come to a stop. Next for the toe turn, start by sliding on your heels. Start to get your board pointed straight down the hill by leaning and pointing with your front hand down the slope. Then once your board is running straight and flat, pressure your new edge and then face your chest to the top of the slope so that your board will come around sideways and you can come to a complete stop in control. Once you practice your heel and toe turn individually, the next and final step is to start to link your turns together. To start linking turns, you only have to add one new thing in, and that is sliding in between each turn. So as you come to the end of a heel turn, continue to slide and ride across the hill slightly. And then once you feel like you're in control and confident, you can then go right into the toe turn. And then as you finish the toe turn, just continue to slide down and across the hill slightly until again you feel confident and in control enough so that you can go into that heel turn. Amazing guys, so those are the first 10 skills you want to learn as a new snowboarder. Just remember that snowboarding is about having fun, so go at your own pace and learn as you feel comfortable. If you have any questions about these 10 skills, hit me up down in the comments. And if you haven't yet, make sure to like this video and subscribe here to Snowboard Pro Camp. I'll also put a link to the Snowboard Pro Camp beginner playlist where there are dozens of videos that help you guys through those beginner stages. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have fun out there learning to snowboard and I'll see you in the next video soon.